Hey beauties, morning to you. All right, beautiful people. You know, from time to time, I'll be talking to women, you know, who are single, you know, maybe they're divorced, maybe they're a widow, you know, uh, for a while, you know, and, uh, you know, these are maybe somewhat accomplished people. And uh, you might try to find out from them, you know, church women, women I'm talking, how come, see, how comes you're not married, you know, again, or how comes you're not married and all of that. And uh, not really to my surprise, because it's something that I can identify with. They will tell you they actually see no men in their local church or local churches that they would even dream to marry. And men, what I'm about to say, you may feel offended by it. It is not intended for any offense. It is not intended to make you feel emasculated or feel like a woman is trying to control you. I'm not coming from that perspective because one of the etymologies, or eti the, an etymology if you want to say it, if you do an exegesis, meaning you go into the original and some deep studies of the word control. Control means witchcraft. So it's a basic tenet of witchcraft working. And uh, um, I don't think a number of women are aware of that. And even though they use a lot of the emotions sometimes and feelings to charter their courses, they really mean well. You know, we're not talking the Jezebels and the Delilahs and so on. And men, when you listen to some of them, they will say that the men is like on a full fool. And uh, like you, you're unaware of life. You're unintelligent. Your emotional intelligence is very low. Your IQ is very low. You don't speak with a sense of you know being a valiant man a man with purpose a man with vision you only see just where your toe point is you can't see far and uh, some of you you're very effeminate you have a lot of feminine tendencies and behaviors it does and I'm not, I'm not talking about somebody being um gay or straight i'm talking about just your behavioral patterns you know, it's maybe you, you, it, some people say they grew up with their grandmother or a lot of females, so they take on the behavior. So women don't like that because one of the things you have to understand, even in the relationships that are outside of the dimensions of Christ, you still have masculine being attracted to feminine, even though you have two same, you know, sex. One is feminine, one is masculine, you know, on both ends of the spectrum. So naturally, masculine is attracted to feminine um, and vice versa. Feminine is attracted to masculine. And uh, so it is, again, it's like your, your emotional intelligence is not there. Your simpletons, you, you know, as I said, feminine tendencies. And two, you behave very holier than though. I don't know, extremely super as i would say spiritual and we're not talking about the spirituality that god intends for you to have we're not talking about holiness a lot of people when they hear the word holiness they think the opposite of holiness is sin not really the opposite of holiness is common the bible says you're royalty you're a priesthood you were fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God if you're made in the likeness of a king it means that you take on king like queen like qualities well in this case we're talking about the victim well the person understand now is the men so you take on king like qualities you behave as if you're already in heaven you're you are dead resurrect buried and resurrected and you're now in heaven and you don't you can't people can't connect with you on a human earthly level it doesn't matter if some i don't care if angel wings are coming out of the woman's back she wants to know that as a man she can have certain conversations with you regular everyday conversations challenges that we face i'm not talking about making your mouth and your conversation be, be loose crude and uh, you know, it's not spiritual and everything is spiritual. When I say spiritual, I'm not talking about every of you say God, 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 every other word. No, we're, not, we're, we're being, you know, smart in our, in our conversations. Some of you behave like everybody sinfully, they step on this high, that's fake. That's not even Christianity. That's not spirituality. That is not identifying with Jesus. 
Jesus said he was touched with our infirmities. He was able to identify with the common man. Then you remember the Pharisees were basically persecuting him and saying, imagine look how this man walk with pure sinners because him could identify with them, can talk with them. He may not sin, but him can understand when a man said, boy, Jesus, and I said, wow, well, for any cater or commit adultery, you know, but the penis cares. It's like when you see the woman, it jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it. Why the woman, it want the woman, it want the vagina bad. She just sexy and she just look good. When the woman said, boy, Jesus, and I said, I want to run out with Tom, they can't hurry, you know, but things tough. I can't get a good job because I'm not really educated, I'm not trained. So I have to make Tom pay the light bill. J, um, um, Jim pay the water bill. This I want to buy the house. And I say, I feel comfortable about it. My child, I cry upon me. I mean, I have a father. Although some of you women, though, you need a little letter bill beating upon your bottom, you know. Because some of you are part and parcel as, why, as to why men are separated from their children. You actually are a hindrance many times. I'm not saying you don't have worthless um, men in their attitudes and behavior. But some of you women actually contribute to that. You follow? So men, sometimes you, you in a church and you like a particular lady, she wouldn't even look at you because your your entire disposition is off. And you feel like by saying hallelujah, amen, speaking in tongues and reeling off and turning around and spinning around and somersaulting and so on is going to get her attention. No, she likes a balanced man. Remember Solomon was speaking to his son in the book of Proverbs. I think it's chapter 3 and Solomon said son Take heed to wise counsel. Some of you are men men you feel that every t if a woman gives you an advice She's trying to control you not necessarily you can't Proverbs 31 talks about when a woman do Proverbs 31 woman, when she opens her mouth with wise counsel That's a man a solid man will listen a masculine man will listen God didn't tell you that a um, woman can't advise you. There are some things that is, you know, probably only a man can really because a man can identify. But some of you don't listen. Solomon said, my son, take wise counsel. He didn't say take wise counsel from a man or take wise counsel from a woman. It means from either genders, either sex, if you want to call it. You know, you don't listen. No matter what she says, you be careful because there is a sixth sense, as some people would say. There is a different kind of a... Uh, discernment that women generally have because we don't have the physical strength like you God gave it to us emotionally psychologically in a sense that's why you will find less mad women like mentally insane challenge or whatever you call women than men um, than men right because emotional we tough it's like on a strong you no know, we I, there I was telling somebody that there's a stone that catches a door at um, a church my church and me and we and this girl, we can't even move, we can't, we can't shift it. And we call a man, <laughs> and I'm not saying the man has to look like Hulk. And him just come, you want if it's a, it's a feather, he was moving. You're like, huh? Because that's how you're made. But we have it, there's an discernment. And if you say, men, be careful. And you, she, you know she's coming from a good place and she can give you, she can give you some facts. She may not give you everything in its totality, you know? And say, honey, don't do this, my friend. Do you don't listen. And then when you face the repercussions, say, boy, my wife did I tell me this. My girlfriend did I tell me this. My friend was telling me this. And you don't listen. Women don't like it. It's just that they have tenacity and a sense of loyalty and devotion where, some, where women in general will stay longer, even in relationships that are not fruitful. You know, because there's this hope. And faith that maybe one day things will turn around. Maybe one day he will change or be transformed for the better. So you can't knock us. It's how we are wired. But men in churches, especially local churches, the women don't want to because of... The, these are fundamental reasons. You don't take telling. You have some effeminate qualities. If you even dress poorly, they can help you, dear. So that is minor, you know. But, um, and you, it's like you, you're a simpleton. You reason very baseless and weightless like you're not educated like you're not smart you sound ridiculous you sound stupid i'm really trying not to say it but i want you to get it i really wanted to get it that's why i'm saying it this way and again i'm not trying to say this to be offensive it is what it is it's better for you to know the truth you know and you're mean and stingy you're tight someone tight i don't know like give and give the give off your best give what you love and I'm talking about if somebody gives you a gift, you give it away. We don't mean like that. You give of your best. You have a keen mentality, not an able mentality. Able gave God the best, the first fruits, what the best of, of, of the crop. That's why God blessed him. 
and it bothered Cain because he wasn't like that and he allowed jealousy and envy in a malicious way to take him down the road to kill his own brother so men I don't know you have to learn balance as my uh, you know my pastor would have preached balance Christianity know how to be heavenly minded know how to be earthly good as well are your relationships will go or you can find no woman that you like and would want guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel certainly share this message